What are the two most volatile investments ever? Tesla and Bitcoin. Out of all the investments you could ever make, there are literally no other investments that are as volatile as these two. Bitcoin just a year ago used to cost less than $10,000 and now worth over $50,000. And since the beginning of the year, the price has doubled. But what happens if these two super volatile assets merge? That sounds like a recipe for a disaster. But that's exactly what happened in the last few days. Elon Musk announced that you can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoins. You don't have to convert your Bitcoins to US dollars first to buy a Tesla. Just send your Bitcoins directly to Elon Musk and get your Tesla. This is insane if you ask me. An asset that used to worth $4,000 less than two years ago now can get you a brand new Tesla. I can't believe that something like that is actually happening. These are the times when you feel like you should have spent all of your money buying bitcoins back then. But I think we're a little late to the party, unless you believe that bitcoin is going to cross a hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars like some people claim. But you know what's more important than that? Is giving this video a thumbs up. That's the best way to let me know that you enjoy our videos. Imagine the people who used to mine bitcoins every day back when bitcoin wasn't even a thing back when you could mine multiple bitcoins a day. An hour of mining bitcoin in 2012 now can get you a brand new Tesla in 2021. If 2020 was hilarious, then 2021 is going to be much more fun. Crypto guys are having their best year ever, but that doesn't mean that the next year isn't going to be fun as well. Only time will tell. For those who are interested in Bitcoin, we made an entire video about how to buy Bitcoins, how to store Bitcoins, how to make sure your Bitcoins are safe. The link will be in the description. But what's more insane than that is, Tesla's Bitcoin investment reportedly made more profit this year than car sales in the whole of 2020. Tesla is an auto manufacturer. You assume that their primary source of income is probably selling cars, but apparently it is not. Even if you argue that it's a tech company, you still wouldn't think that its major source of income is Bitcoin. I'm not trying to downplay Tesla or be negative about it, but I find that pretty hilarious. Tesla disclosed an SEC filing on February the 8th that it purchased $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin. If its holding has remained the same size, it will reportedly have made a $930 million profit. That's almost 30% more than the company made from car sales in 2020. If Bitcoin keeps growing at this rate, then Tesla will soon become a crypto company. Elon Musk is giving Bitcoin a lot of legitimacy, because if such a huge company is investing in Bitcoin and accepting it as a form of currency, that could push a lot of other companies to follow in Tesla's footsteps. It's still early to make any predictions because the market is still unstable and we will have to wait and see what happens when the economy stabilizes, when the Fed raises interest rates to 1 or 2 percent. But that's not what I want to talk about in this video, but rather about Kathy Wood's new Tesla target price, which is $3,000. Yes, you heard that right. Kathy Woods believes that Tesla is going to cross $3,000 by 2025. Just a little context. Last year before Tesla's stock split, ARK Invest estimated that in 2024, Tesla's share price would hit $7,000 per share or $1,400 adjusted for its 5 for 1 stock split. If you treat Tesla as an auto manufacturer, that will never make sense. <laughs> oh, 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 you crazy! This valuation is insane. However, ARK Invest is looking at Tesla as a future tech giant that's taking a completely different approach and it has all the potential to change the world. We're still a fossil fuel society, so if Tesla would become the major player to transition the world into sustainable energy, it will worth far more than $3 trillion which will justify its $3,000 stock price. Last year, Tesla produced around half a million cars. By 2025, Kathy Woods believed that that number will grow to 10 million cars at best case scenario to finally match industry's leader, Toyota, which sold almost 10 million cars globally despite the pandemic. And in the worst case scenario, it will produce 5 million. That sounds realistic. 
but we can't compare Tesla to traditional automakers because they are in a completely different business and I'm going to explain why. Tesla's main business is in cars, but batteries and data. Think of Tesla as an energy company because eventually what they're doing is creating a pretty similar product with a giant battery that you can recharge at any of its superchargers across the country. Today's energy giants are ExxonMobil, Shell, Chevron, and they're valued at over $200 billion each, although they don't have much future. First of all, oil is a finite resource. Secondly, as the world moves to renewable energy, these companies are going to shrink. Of course, oil isn't going to go anywhere anytime soon, but its usage will diminish greatly. Theoretically, Tesla has the potential to take over their entire market in the next two decades. But that's just a small part of it, because if you take a look at the world's largest oil company, which is Saudi Aramco, it is valued at $2 trillion, which tells you how big this market is. And every oil country has its own local company that controls a certain chunk of the market and is valued at dozens of billions of dollars, if not hundreds. The problem with Tesla's competitors is that they got into the game too late and Tesla is so far ahead in this game that it's impossible for any company to catch it anytime soon. When Tesla announced that it's going to build a Gigafactory, it was unclear whether it was the right decision or not, but it seems like Gigafactory is Tesla's strategy to transition the world to sustainable energy. Instead of reinventing the wheel every single time, they just built a factory that efficiently builds cars, battery packs, energy storage products, power wall, and all that is left for it to do is to build as many gigafactories as possible. The company has become so efficient that they built their China gigafactory in around a year. Then in the middle of a pandemic, Tesla announced that it's going to build its next gigafactory in Berlin, which is set to open in July this year. At this speed, it's pretty easy to imagine that within the next 5 or 7 years, the company will build a dozen gigafactories and will meet Kathy Wood's prediction of 10 million cars a year. ARK Investment also bets on Tesla's autonomous technology. Remember when Elon Musk said, your Tesla could be earning you money when you're not using it because it will drive people around like an Uber. It sounds a bit futuristic, but theoretically it's possible and eventually that's where the industry is headed to. So by 2025, the company should have reached level 5 autonomy, which sounds reasonable, but not practical since the industry is overregulated. And since Cathy Woods predicts that ride hell would account for the majority of Tesla's enterprise value in 2025, it makes her prediction a little over optimistic. I don't doubt Elon Musk, but I think that's going to take a little longer. Nevertheless, if you're playing it long term, then you shouldn't care. If you want to learn more about Tesla, then check out my video on our second channel, which link I will leave in the description. There are a few things I want to talk about, such as how the price of your coffee could skyrocket because unfortunately, a ship or I would say a container ship is stuck in the Swiss Canal and is stopping the rest of the ships from crossing the route, which could cut the supply chain and cause a shortage of coffee in the market. We complain about a $5 coffee, now we might start having $20 or $30 coffees. Who knows? Well, we might talk about that in a future video. Meanwhile, if you want to know where the stock market is headed to, I made an entire video about that a few days ago, so make sure to check it out. But most importantly, give this video a thumbs up as usual and subscribe if you are new around here. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.